All right, <laughs> we got through chapter two. I did. These woods are dark. Esther. Yeah, I don't know what the, the, the requirements are for the golden ending, but whatever, I'm gonna play through this again anyway, so. Here we are. You can stay on the farm until you get your strength back. Don't think the owner will mind. You won't even know I'm here. I need a quiet place to rest for a bit. I'm so tired. I know. You'll sleep soon. But take a bath first. Use the guest bathroom, just past the staircase, and in the meantime, I'll find something for you to wear and I'll bring it over. Oh, and uh, can you please make me a nice big cup of coffee? Um, yeah, sure. <sighs> Five sugars, please. Five? Okay. Just go and wash that blood off you already. One last thing, Angie. Yeah? What the hell is this dreadful thing on the table? Uh... Well... It might be... I, 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 I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's freaking me out, this thing. Even after everything you've been through? I can't help it. It looks like a frozen head of a giant baby. Fine. I'll ask Kieran to get rid of it when I see him. Now go. Run yourself a nice hot bath and leave all those horrible memories behind, yeah? Thanks, Angie. <laughs> Alright, I need to smoke. <laughs> Yay! I hear the twinkle sound. I like the twinkle sound. It's not a baby head. It's the biggest lump of frozen meat I've ever seen. I can only assume it's the dinner Karen's offered to me yesterday. Offered to make yesterday. There. Would you come closer, please? But <laughs> come on, I it's, it's all, I gotta pay cookies. Well, we could be losing my mind, but you know we just see a naked lady run past here a minute ago. <laughs> That's Jenny. Don't worry about her. That's Jenny. Don't worry about her. She needed a place to stay for a few days, and I've offered to help. Is that all right with you? Oh, that's fine with me. Just ask her to. Put some clothes on. You know. In case that vicar comes round again. You know what? I'm gonna start calling you George BB10. <laughs> totally gonna start doing that. And, and Cass is gonna be wondering why I'm calling you George, but you'll know. Um. Speaking of clothes, do we have anything we could give her? Well, I, uh, we don't know much about ladies' garments, dear. It's alright. I can give her some of mine. Wait, I, uh, I still have some clothes that belong to my wife. It's a skirt and a blouse, I believe. I kept them because they were her favorite. They're in a suitcase upstairs. You sure you don't mind letting a stranger wear it? Penny, uh, always had a heart of gold. She wouldn't think twice about lending her clothes to a stranger in need. Well, I'm sure of that. In that case, okay, I'll go look for it. Oh, uh, before you go, dear, any chance of another sandwich? <laughs> oh, I waited and waited yesterday, but that roast lamb never came. What? Huh, I wonder why. Uh-oh. But sure, I'll make you a sandwich in a minute. Wait. Karen Shady, I was, I was giving that guy the benefit of a doubt, but... The heck? Did I bring him the wine or nothing? But no, that was his own wine, so I don't know. Alright, let's let's make him a quick sandwich. No. Alright, we need bread. Let's see. Is there peanut butter? Why is there strawberry jam and no peanut butters? I did. Um Let's do some lettuce. 
uh, mayo, tuna, and uh, cheese. Oh, bread. I think I have to put bread on it. Top. There we go. No, come on! It's a tuna salad sandwich. Oh my gosh. All right, let's let's try one more time. Bread? It's not. Um, all right, I'm just gonna put some mayonnaise because you gotta have mayonnaise. Um, got ham, cheese, bread. All right, whatever. He's getting a ham sandwich again. I don't even care. You know, he's the the, the man is lucky he's eaten. I'm not very really stupid. Stop it! What type of sandwiches do you guys eat? Come on. Ham, cheese, lettuce, mayo, and bread. Perfect sandwich for a lunch for me. He's eating, but he doesn't seem to be enjoying it much. What is a normal sandwich to you? I better look at it. Let me look at the... Actually, wasn't I given like a... a... Oh, I get another, uh, incredible truth. Check calendar. It's Thursday, the 5th of no December. I'm gonna say December, September. What, just meat and bread? Ha. I need some lettuce on a good. Oh, there's care. Oh, look at all the bottles of wine. He just got drunk. Here's Karen. Didn't just forget to make dinner. He got drunk on George's sherry too. I need to have a word with him when he wakes up. No, you need some. You need some like sauce or something on the sandwich. Just meat and bread is too dry. Seriously, you guys. Oh, I could put this on. Here. Mr. Gray Power Daily. <gasps> yes! Hold on, really? Wait. So I get to up it to two! I didn't even know that. Oh my gosh, why didn't I put the. Why didn't I put the clock there earlier? So, anyways, okay. We're gonna smoke. We have a smoke. Okay, so what did just happen? We saved the one chick. She was an actress, right? So we. <laughs> We saved her. And now we gotta get her clothes, right? I give Jenny some of my own clothes, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. Maybe I can find some spare clothes in the cl in the house. There used to be a, a woman, women living here before me, right? Oh, we're gonna smoke. What are we doing here? If I ever find something pretty, I can put it on this shelf, including a kitty cat. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. The more I listen to the soundtrack, uh, the more I, I'm- I don't want to, like, listen to it outside of the game until I finish the game, but I am loving the piano in this so far. I've always loved piano music, but it's just so pretty. Um... What is the- it, it's Ren Mikulski's developer, then his brother is... Michael? Mikhail? Some, something Mikhail? <laughs> I don't know. He's become one of my favorite composers from just the last, all these soundtracks. But anyways, where, I, where am I going? Where is, uh, George's room? It's locked. Alright, this is my room. No, this is not my room. There's a lot of ladies' clothes inside, but they're all X XXL size. It's way too large for Jenny. Yeah, it does. So the cat can get in and out, that's why. There we go. Uh, open. Ooh. So these clothes belonged to George's white penny. Not bad. I'll take them. They look just about her size. 
Come on, I want to snoop around. Come on, there was stuff in there. Let's snoop around then. Oh well. I don't know where she went. She was not naked. She was close to naked, but she wasn't completely naked. I gotta find her first. I don't know where she went. You in here? Hey, that room is pretty dark. Oh, she was probably in the shower, okay. Didn't she come upstairs to go to the shower, though? Where's the bathroom up here? It's been two weeks, you guys. I don't remember. Is there a bathroom in here? No, there's not. Right, we gotta go downstairs. I thought there was a- wait, is there a bathroom up in George's room? Nope. Alright, so I gotta go downstairs. Oh, she's in here. Hey, Jenny? found some clothes that should fit you. I'll leave them here on the floor, just outside the bathroom. Thanks! I'll be out in a minute. Completed. Now what? It's a family portrait, this little boy. Could it be George and the girl? His older sister, perhaps. Okay. Ugh, that lump. George seems completely focused on the TV. It's old CRTV. You can't buy these nowadays. No, you can't, but they're highly sought after. Kind of uh, kicking myself in the butt for getting rid of our last big CRTV. I'm not gonna make him a weird sandwich. It's the biggest lump of frozen meat I've ever seen. I can only assume it's the dinner Kieran offered to make yesterday. What am I supposed to do with that? Okay, I guess I'm gonna make tea. Oh, she liked coffee and five sugars, right? Five spoonsfuls of sugar. It's... Okay. How is she not fat? Some people just have the metabolism. I don't know. Cucumber sandwich, sandwich, sandwich sounds pretty good. You know what's also really good if you've ever had it? Peanut butter and banana sandwich. Mmm, this coffee smells good. You should try it sometime. It's really good. It seems to be coming from the basement. Sound again. There we go. <laughs> no, if I, I'm gonna go down. <laughs> Just close it and leave it alone. smoke.
great. I'm back here again. What? Well, aren't you a cutie? Living on Burn House Lane, of all places. This doesn't seem like the right home for a beautiful cat like you. Let's come with me. Moonlight gain control of a cat. Oh, cat's ability. Birds aren't real. What? What is that type of nonsense? Forest in the middle of the city. The burp in my crock pot isn't fake. done this to her? A psychopath called Walter Green, who lives in the woods, not far from the farm. Walter likes to trap people, hunt them down like animals, sometimes just to slowly watch them die, but mostly to skin them alive as a sacrifice to the devil. What do you want me to do? Find Sheila and get her out of there. But do it soon. The sun sets down fast this time of year. You only have till midnight. And at night, these woods are dark. Well, oh, shit. A bird, lizard, same thing. Walter Green. I must have fallen asleep waiting for Jenny to finish her bath. Oh, Katie Cat's not there anymore. Do I have anything else to put here? That's not gonna work. Nope. I was thinking maybe Walter Sullivan, but definitely I don't think that's him. She I gave her the clothes. Stop! She's done. Whew. Gotta take care of business, you guys. There we go. Wait, hold on. Bathroom sink. Wash your hands! Oh my god, fine. I mean, we just peed. It's not like, you know. It's fine. You're awake. Well, what do you mean? I wasn't sleeping. Liar. <sighs> What's that rose slime you promised us, hmm? Well, where's the wine? You went to get it. And you never came back. I was... Ugh. It's a long story. But now that I think about it, you don't actually need red wine to make rose slam. You just stick the damn thing in the oven. It's that simple. Well, not the way I cook it. And what is your way to cook it? Let me guess. 
getting pissed on George's sherry and falling asleep. I guess it's better you never actually started it because you'd probably just burn the whole place down if you did, you drunken fool. Hey! That was George's idea to open that bottle. Mm hmm. So, well, I get two of them, right? Do I really want this? I don't think it matters. Whatever. Whatever. Did you see a young woman? Blonde? Late twenties? You mean Jenny? Yes. She's lovely, isn't she? Where is she? Uh, the last I saw her, she was talking to George. Right. Thanks. Should I, I should just give him. Uh, it's not a clone when it's actually developed by the same developer as the cat lady. This is the um, fourth game by him. So, um, exactly. It can't be a clone when it's by the same developer. I don't. I mean, I guess it could be, but it's not. Do you want a cupcake? Do you want a cupcake? <laughs> Do I look like the kind of guy who'd say no to a cupcake? In that case. Here, it's all yours. Cheers, nurse. I will remember this. Ooh. He's gonna remember this. Uh, let's see. Is there a forest near the farm? Why are you asking? Well, I just feel like taking a walk in the woods. I want to get some fresh air. You know? You don't want to go to that forest. I mean, this is the good old countryside. There's fresh air everywhere. Maybe I like to look at the trees, yeah? Just tell me, how do I get there? Well, if you really must. There's a path leading to it in the east yard near my caravan. I'll be there all day. Come over and I'll show you. But you shouldn't go there alone. Why not? I hear stories about things happening in these woods. Bad things. Horrible things. Oh, I definitely want to go Thanks there. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. Is there a refrigerator in the woods? Because I'll definitely need to open it. Um, hey, Matt Nui. Chubby, what? You've been bugging me all day, boo-boo. All right. See you later. And don't do anything stupid. Me? Never. Oh. What? I see you've met Jenny. Uh, this lovely young lass wandered in. I offered my chair to her, and... She must have been very exhausted, because she just fell asleep before I could even offer her a cup of tea. Do you want me to... No, no, leave her. That's fine. As a matter of fact, I'll go find her a blanket. That's a bit chilly today. George is a good guy. Joey, I can't see with your head in my way. That's exactly the way he wants it. All right. Uh, do I not have that cup of tea? Why are you doing this? I guess I can't grab it. Joey, stop. Oh my god, now he's sitting right in front of you guys. <laughs> so I can't- okay, that's fine. He just does- he's, he's a jealous, jealous creature. 
Nurse, can I interest you in a little game I've invented? There's prizes to be won. What would I have to do? You uh, ever held a gun? Yes. Well then, I throw some empty bottles up in the air. You try to hit them before they fall. Easy. What do you say? Yeah, easy peasy. Sure, let's try it. Uh, oops. Yeah! Oh, I got one. Nice! Dang it, can I play again? Three bottles, very nice. And here's the incredible second prize. But I need the first prize. Ooh. What is this? It's a little sheep. Isn't it lovely? I got it at the car boot sale last year. Thanks. It'll look nice on the shelf, I guess. Oh, I definitely need the first prize. Do you want to try again? Sure, let's try it. Whoa -ho! Good shot. Dang it. Oh, it's come on. How am I missing? Two out of five. Not bad. Not bad. Do you want to try again? Fine. Sure. Let's try it. Sorry, you guys. Probably be doing this for a while. I need the first prize. Yeah! Good shot! Come on, you got it! No, I need Three the shiny. Three bottles, very nice. Sadly, I've only had one sheep thingy, so uh, I'll just pat you on the back this time. Don't. Do you want to try again? Okay, last time. No, no, I gotta sure. keep trying. Let's try it. I can't say no to these shinies. All right, we, we, we I just, I feel like the timing is, is very arbitrary. Nice. Oh, you got it! Oh, oh you got it! Good shot! Woohoo! Got it! Alright, we're good. Five bottles! You're amazing! <laughs> Here's your special ultra rare first prize, as promised. A large caliber desert eagle bullet. It's Just one? Oh, they're quite expensive. But let's be honest. With this sort of weapon, all you need is one shot. Really? But I don't even have a Desert Eagle. Well, I'd lend you mine, but uh, well, you know how it is. I grow attached to these things. It's alright. I don't want it anyway. You want to try again? No, I'm good. No, thanks. I gotta go put the sheep on yeah, my shelf. Take your gun back. I'm off to the woods. Will I get there if I keep going this way? Well, yes, but uh, you don't really want to go there, nurse. Why not? You should leave that for me to decide. I'll be back. I just gotta put this on my shelf in case it gives me another, like, bonus or power-up or something. And then I pr should probably pour myself another drink. I don't know. That seems kind of fitting, actually. I'm not 
drunk. Oh my god, what? It's fine, BB Town. I'm not even buzzed yet. There you go. Cure and friendship plus one. But what about the cupcake? I don't have anywhere to go today, so <laughs> you're staying home. I'm making. I'm making <laughs> chicken nugget casserole for dinner and root beer floats for dessert. That's a uh, fantastic uh, New Year's Eve. Probably won't even count down. I'll probably be in bed before midnight. Ugh. <sighs> It's Richard the horse. I want to pet Richard. He's a good boy. Here, give him a... Be the horse. <laughs> Hopefully making him happy will come in handy later. A cab. Seriously? That's not supposed to. All cops are bros. What? That's not what it stands for. is going nuts again. I don't know what's wrong with her. I think she found a mouse. But she brought put the mouse in the litter box the other day. Why? He was trying to bury it? The first cross. Three sixes. Shit. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. This one's flipped the sign by accident. I don't know. Why would it be three nines? He did say this guy worships the devil, so... I don't have good feelings about this. This forest is kind of peaceful. Ugh. What is this? I'm not buzzed. Stop it. Hell's empty. All the devils are here. Oh yeah, this is great. You know what? I, I need to go back and get some holy water or something. Maybe a, a crucifix. That might help a little bit. I want to go in here. Let's look over here first. A single tree looms over a river. Is it my bunch? How do I run and I think there's a way I can uh oh yeah. <gasps> oh, I wanna run and die. Come on. <gasps> it won't let me. Okay, 
Yeah, we gotta go in here. <laughs> we gotta go in here. I wouldn't be surprised if there was something on the side that said free candy inside or something. That would totally fit this entire decor. Oh. Hi there. It looks like he's from the 1950s. Um, hi. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Arno. I'm Angie. So, um, yeah. So, who are you, Arno? Is it okay to ask? Oh, I'm a journalist from Finland. Finland? That's nice. Why come to England? Well, I've been planning this trip for a long time. These woods have been calling me all this time, reaching out to me like a distant melody. And yesterday morning, when I arrived, I could feel it. I knew that this is my destiny. What is? To become the man who captures Walter Green and proves the legends were all true. That's very bold. Aren't you afraid that he'll stick you up on a tree and pull your skin off? Or... I don't really know what he does. Eat your eyeballs? Chop your head off? Eat my eyeballs? He's a serial killer, not an animal. Well, that's... He... Not... <laughs> he just mostly grabs and stabs people, multiple times. So, if you ever get near him, What's out for the grab? That would be my advice for you. Right. Good to know. Um, I'm pretty sure <laughs> serial killers <laughs> do lots of crazy, gross, disgusting ass shit, including eating eyeballs. All right, hold on, I gotta take these socks off. It's getting a little warm in here. <laughs> Watch out for the grab so you don't get the stab. I like it. it. Sounds like it could be a motto or a trademark or a low or a motto trademark. What are these? A slogan. Sounds like it could be a slogan. Uh, what are you doing here, alone, in the woods? I'm tracking the legendary Walter Green, of course. And these woods are his hunting grounds. So I've heard, but why do you track him? It doesn't seem like a very wise thing to do. Only if you aren't familiar with his patterns. But since I've studied Walter and his mythos for a long time, I know exactly what I'm doing. And I will not let him kill me. Hmm, okay. Why do I think keep thinking of Walter White instead of Walter Green? Is, was that intentional? I don't know. What is this shack? The Satanist Club? Not quite. It used to be a lumberjack's cabin back in the day. But it's been abandoned since 2013. You see, that's when all those grisly murders started to happen in the area. Jeffrey Brand, the lumberjack, was one of the first they found. Where? Here? Here indeed. If you look closely, you can still see his blood on the windowsill. Uh, I don't think you... Right. Lovely. And what about all those satanic drawings? Ah, yes. It's widely believed that Walter Green worships the devil. He makes them all over the forest as well as little shrines to Satan, built with bones and feathers. They usually mark spots where he killed people. Well, uh, okay. Debil. <laughs> Ebil, I guess, I don't know. You seem to know a lot about Walter Green. Maybe of course I do. Green. I don't mean to brag. I'm the world's biggest expert on what they call the Walter Green Mythos. I've read every single article ever written on it, including the unpublished blogs and letters. 
I've lived and breathed these stories for almost six years, and I feel confident to say I know his greatest secret. Something nobody else knows. What? Hold on. What is it? Oh, I'm not telling it. It's a secret. Hold on. But How? if you want to know more, there's a Walter Green's fan page that I've run for the last three years. It's a lovely community. Is it on Reddit? You should totally join it. It's probably Reddit. Tell you what, if I'm still alive by tomorrow, I totally will. I'm still stuck on the fact that he read unpublished blogs. How can you read unpublished blogs? They're not published. Okay, um... Do I really want to know more about Walter Green? I don't know. Probably not. I'm looking for a small chapel with a creepy doll pinned to it. Please, I really need to find it. Any chance you saw it? Yes, I think I did. Where was it? I'd have to draw you a map, I think. Because you know, the picture is worth a thousand words. That would be great. Thanks, I'll wait. Actually, I was just about to start a fire for the night. It's still early. In these woods, you see, without light comes death. Don't forget, there's a dangerous serial killer lurking nearby. He could be watching us right now. So, while I draw the map, would you mind lighting a fire in the fireplace over there? Oh God. I would appreciate that very much. Do I have to turn my back to you? This guy is gonna murder me. He's probably gonna be a he's probably a copycat killer or something. I bet you this Walter Green is just a is truly a myth, and and maybe there's just all these copycats. I don't know. Maybe he literally hacked the blog, the blog with a hatchet. I don't know. All right. All right. I'll get a fire going for you. Wonderful. Now see this axe stuck in the wall. Oh wall. shit! You will need that. The axe? Well, don't mind if I do. No, I wanted to... Ooh, maybe I can use it to cut down this tree. How's the map coming along? Good, good. It should be ready really soon. Hmm, do I need wood? We're gonna smoke. Yep. I don't I don't have any wood for this though. Yes! Just let me smoke, dang it! What's this? This should burn nicely. It's too big. What do you mean? It's too big. All right, what the hell am I gonna do with this? Thing? Is there so oh, here we go. Is there any 
kerosene or anything out here. This old well is dry as a bone. Should I jump in? If I break my spine, at least I won't have to worry about the fucking cancer anymore. And who's gonna find the girl in the hole? What was her name? Um... Sheila? I could be wrong. What do you mean, kerosene? We're jumping in. Hold on. Need a freaking chainsaw to make firewood out of these. Kerosene or, or well, propane's not gonna work. Oh, I got it. Break it up, break it up. No. Stop. <laughs> oh my God, Anixia, stop! Start a fire. All right, I need to... Maybe I gotta go over here. I promised Arno to do something before I go. Dang it. Well, we have a fire pit, and sometimes we put lighter fluid on it to get it started. Sometimes you just gotta. Sometimes the wood is too wet. Can we talk, Arno? Is it okay if I keep the axe? Yeah, keep it. I have a spare one in my backpack. Thanks. Like I can use it for self-defense if I bump into Walter. Oh, it wouldn't work. Don't even try. How do you know? Stephen Brumble, 2018. He tried the axe. And Steven was a burly kind of guy. No offense, but way stronger than you. Let me guess. He died? Yes. Shocking. I'll see you later. Sure. Unless you see Walter first. Cause then, let's face it, you probably won't. Dude. These, um, serial killers just need to slip up. And they all do, after a while. They can't get away with it forever. I think I'm gonna have to go down here. Let me go smoke, and then I'll, I'll jump down. They get, like, too cocky. Or they're just excited by the thrill. And they want to get, you know, they're like, the closer they are to getting caught, the more exciting it is. Ah, see. Wood. Now I'm gonna get back up. There's a lot of shit down here. Among the remnants of an old party lies a large boom box. Nick was here. It's a rusty barrel full of old rubbish. Hey, 
flashlight. They got batteries. I'll put these batteries in the torch. This is way too dark for my liking. No, I tried. You can't really aim it. Oh shit, this isn't getting me anywhere. Oh, maybe I need the axe. Should be enough. I can light the fire now. How do I light it? I guess whatever I have. Thank you for doing this. You are a real friend, Angie. Nah, it's not a big deal. Yes, it is. And I will now return the favor. Don't kill me, please. I draw a map that will lead you to the place you mentioned. A little chapel with a dog hanging outside. It's not too far. Just keep going east from here, across the river and through the burnt forest until you see a rock with Walter's drawings on it. You are looking specifically for one with three sixes repeated six times on the same rock. That's where you make a turn and go through the briar patch. Be careful so you don't cut yourself on it. Then, on the other side, you should see the place you are looking for. Right. Thanks, Arno. Here, take the map. But you should just wait until morning anyway. I can't wait. There's something I have to do before midnight. You'll just get lost in the dark. I have a torch. He'll find you. He'll sneak up on you in the dark and he'll stab you. I'll walk really slowly and listen out for him. Well, I applaud your courage. I just hope I don't have to drag your dead body back to the village tomorrow. Well, I'm not very heavy. I'm not very heavy. And I'm not very strong. But anyway, that's not what I meant. You are nice. You helped me. I don't want to see you get hurt. Don't be silly. Now, take care and good luck on your hunt. It's time for me to go on mine. Okay, but, ooh, but I want to smoke. All right, here we go. Okay, so before we head into the woods, and get chased by the serial killer, who's also a Satanist. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I'm gonna make pour myself another drink. So <laughs> baby ten, don't cry. But if you do cry, cry exactly 69 times. Alright, I'll be back.
Bob, like crazy. <sighs> you were probably counting too. All right, let's go. Cycle helmet. It seems to be part of a totem. A creepy looking tree. Satanic symbols. Again, I don't know why they give me goosebumps. Because they are um, made with blood. Did you say it was to turn here? this, right? This dude really does like, uh, Yeah, I am lost. Okay. No, that was the wrong way to go.
this is not the right way. I don't know. Oh, maybe that's it. Yep, that was it. It's that creepy doll again. Right, this is definitely the place for my dream. I remember this from the dream. It's a trap. It would be pretty stupid to fall down there with no means of getting back up. Shit! Sorry, Jira. You were right. Always gotta look first. Is she okay? She's not moving. Sheila? You okay? Let's get you out of here, girl. Oh no. Oh no, I took too long! Good. Shit. I'm too late. Sorry, I couldn't save But uh, wait a second. This can't be right. That doll. There's something written on it. I can hear something rattling inside. What could it be? Uh, use a. Eh? I'm gonna have to break. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to break it. Somehow. How long did I spend in that hole? It's gone dark already. But at least I found Sheila. Now it's time to get back home. Smoking. <laughs> I'm just, at this point, I'm just chain smoking this game. All right. I am using the flashlight. See. I can hide. <gasps> oh crap! Okay. <laughs> Baby <laughs> Ted, he's not supposed to use it. All right, hide. <laughs> he's wearing a potato sack for a, a mask. Reminds me of Resident Evil 4. Was it? What was his name? The guy with the chainsaw? Dr. Salazar or something? No, no, not Salazar. It's Dr. something. Oh god, he's coming! <laughs> go back, go back, go! Oh, 
I need to break it down? He's gonna hear me. Whew. What? Oh no, he's gonna come. <gasps> oh god, <laughs> he's got me! Alright, here. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> oh, come on. Dang it! Arno was right! Alright, well, this time I can't be Trixies. Okay, not Trixies. I've been watching too much Lord of the Rings. I can't be overly confident. I'm just gonna have that out. No, turn that off. Come on. No! Oh my god! <laughs> go back, go back. I guess I can't hide with that. Oh, here we go. Oh, I can't hide. That was just too close to him. I'm guessing he's just paths back and forth. Who would think this guy would hyperventilate with the way he's breathing? Maybe, Debrel. I did get gutted by a serial killer, so I don't think that's considered winning. Oh god, he's come back. I hear him. Go back. Wait, he was probably walking away from me. Oh, right now I gotta wait. It's okay, we will win. I just need to, to wait for him to pass. Again. And now Nixie is going nuts. I don't know what she's doing. I think she found her mouse. I just can't follow too close behind him. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't think we've we've, we've come across any. Alright, here we go. Just walk slow. Walk slow. Alright, we got this. Alright, we're just gonna hide. I'm pretty sure the developer likes cats, though. <laughs> I'm fairly certain. Which is fine, you know me. I, I, I was literally the cat lady several years ago when I had like seven cats in the small little ass house. Never again, though. have time. I got away from the path. You can have a love for cats. It shouldn't be. It's plugged in. I don't know why that was happening. Probably just me being dumb. It happens. I don't know why- okay. There we go. It, it kept automatically turning her around, so... But we got it. Now I just gotta hide one more time. Uh, I tried. I tried murder death killing the serial killer and it didn't work. He just sat, laughed at me and stabbed me to death. I and I thought with this fire axe that I had an advantage, but nope. Yeah. 
he's way too fast. It's like he sees fresh meat and he gets excited or something. The adrenaline just kicks in. Alright, here we go. What? Come on. Yeah, it's weird. It's 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 automatically turning me. Alright, there we go. I don't know if that's something of a, of a bug or not, but we got through. Oh no. Oh, what if I gotta go back? Oh god, help! Dear lord! He's coming! Oh, help! Oh my god, just the. Oh. The, 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 the literal second and a half that I like moved back and forth killed me. Dang it! Okay, we got it this time. <sighs> yeah, it's just a flesh room. We come back to life, it's okay. See, I told you all of that chain smoking was would be totally worth it, DB10. This, this just takes patience, which I'm not generally known for. But we can do this. Oh God! <laughs> run, run! Can I? Uh, really? Did he see me? <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy, I don't know how he's not, like, completely, like, hyperventilated. What? Oh, do I ha oh, wait, I have my- <laughs> It automatically takes my flashlight out, okay? Oh, he's- he's chanting? Okay, that makes more sense. It automatically takes my flashlight off, so. I, I don't even know that song. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of old. But I was listening to Living in the City from, uh, from Sonic R earlier today. That's a great song. You guys, that's one of the best video game soundtracks ever made. I'm not lying. Oh, I still- I probably would notice it if- remember- I would probably recognize it if I, I heard it. I probably just don't recognize it. Look. I was in high school in the 90s. <laughs> Toss me some 90s songs that I heard when I was in high school. I like 80s music too. No, not the 1290s. Stop it. Whatever it was making me spin seems to not be doing it anymore, so... That helps. This is fine! Every time I go to hide behind a tree, it gives me time to have some sips of my drink. I'm okay with it. Let's check. Any emails? No. Oh, Humble Games. No, oh, I don't need a new credit card. No more Chewy.com emails, though. I'm not gonna... <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, that's definitely what I'm gonna do. I gotta wait for him to come past. I just can't freak out and spin around again and try to run and then come back. 
that lost me a second and a half that in which I would have lived. Is he doing it? It's doing that. Oh my. Okay. See, this is not supposed to happen. Okay. I think this might be bug. I don't know at that exact spot. Point. All right. I gotta go back. I wasted too much time. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I it, it, in this, I don't think it's the controller because I it's physically plugged in with the USB, so it's not like it's dying. Oh my god, he takes forever, this guy. God, he's coming! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Go through. Whew. Keep going. Oh god. Well, you can't get me in here, I guess. I gotta calm myself down here, you guys. Where am I now? I'm not gonna lie, though. I gotta take a screenshot of this. Damn it. Red screen. Some of this imagery is very, very... a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this controller. Maybe it is my controller. I don't know. I think I'm flicking it. That's what I'm doing. Blood Moon Return What Has Been Stolen. See, yeah, I'm in. It's an old stove. I wonder if it still works. Like kerosene. <laughs> Close it. What's that? Hold on. I'm gonna take these little caps. I have these. Ugh. I'm gonna take that off and see if that helps. Yeah, it might be. I have these um caps to the thumbsticks. I don't know if it's making if it's have, making me have issues. What? This trapdoor needs leads to the basement. I'm gonna take this off too. All right. There's a nasty smell coming from down there. It's probably because I have short fingers, short thumbs. All right, let's go upstairs first. Forgive me, Father. I will bring you back from the dark. This door seems pretty sturdy. I have a feeling that there's something important behind it. I do. I have stubby thumbs. I actually have very short fingers. But I'm actually short, so it makes sense, right? I'm only five feet tall. Looks like I have to jump down. Looks like we're gonna have to jump! Yep. It's okay, the Chuzbin is is up over a foot taller than me, which means he can he can reach all the high stuffs. Oh 
crate. It's probably filled with something horrible. Like spiders. Or rotten human heads. Can we open it? Little bunch. I guess I'll have to brute force it to get it open. I want to push it. Oh yeah, I gotta get it open. It's too heavy. I'm <laughs> just trying all the options first. Oh, no spiders, just coal. Man, I was hoping for. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> I was hoping, it was like, I was hoping for some body parts or something. Well, here we go. Just a pile of dead bodies. So many corpses. Are you really here or am I tripping again? What does it say? One must cross the river of blood to show true devotion. How the hell do I cross here? I can use it to measure things. Yes, I can. I totally can. I use foots and inches and ounces and ounces and whatever. How are we gonna open this? Maybe I should put that doll in there. Fill the combustion chamber with coal. The stove should burn nice, nice and now. Let's see if I can burn this doll and get whatever's in there. Aha! Time to light it. Hmm. Gotta yeah, wait. Doll's remains. A key and a coin. What are they doing inside the doll? One. It says one pound. I think it said one pound. No, it didn't. Not, absolutely nothing happened. Well, because it takes time, right? You can't just. Throw, toss it in there and it doesn't burn. Okay. We're gonna open this door. Oh. This guy's got issues. This coffin is covered in flowers. Whoever's inside, they must have been very important. Somehow a part of me feels like it should also pay respects. Oh, I wonder if I can put the flower on there. Here's one more from me. Yes! Yes! Honor the D dead dad? What? Alright, well, we're gonna open it. Sergeant Walter Green. Wait, he's dead! Walter Green? What? If this is Walter, then who the hell just chased me through the woods? His son, I'm guessing. Uh oh. Ah! Am I gonna end up on that pile downstairs? I think I'm his next uh, victim. Little friend. He has a very, um, fluffy tail for a cat. Find a way out. 
Get help. Definitely can do anything with a cat. <laughs> Drown the cat! No! Okay. I told you guys I'm not good at platforming. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm horrible at platforming. I don't even know how I beat Castlevania 64 back in the day. That was a good game, though. Very, very underrated for, for its time. I know they are. <laughs> but you know what? Why, why can't the cat smoke? The cat needs to smoke to, to say. No, I didn't call the Nintendo hotline. That was way after. I think they had already closed the Nintendo hotline. Oh my god. That was years later. No, we called so much they actually knew my brother. My brother's name. We knew all the, um, the, the... Not the agents or whatever, maybe. But we knew all of them because we called so much. I feel so bad for my mom because we racked up so many freaking, uh... <laughs> so many freaking charges, but... Dang it. Alright, I don't know what we're supposed to do. I can't go through there, I guess. Yes! We called those outlines! Yes, we did. How the heck do you think we were gonna finish M Metroid? The original Metroid before there was... There was the internet. Alright, maybe I think... What? You don't wanna go here. We didn't have strategy guides. We didn't have- we probably should have gotten a um, subscription to the Nintendo Power, but that would have been cheaper, but, you know, we were kids. I guess he doesn't want to go on this way. I don't know where to go. Aha! <laughs> Eating a rat is saving for the cat. I like it. isn't good. Can I get up here? I guess not. It's just atmospheric. <gasps> I killed the cat. Did I? No, I didn't. Hey, I can see his eyes. Sorry, it was looking at chat. How many rats? Oh, shit. have I? Eaten? No, no! Come on! <laughs> None. I have not eaten rat. I have eaten turtle though. It's pretty good. It was nobody's pet, okay? What if it was a snapping turtle and it, and it was and it bit somebody and caused them to get infected and they eventually died from sepsis? 
Then, then would you be crying? Whatever. <gasps> oh, come on! <laughs> they are pretty metal. We have them here in, in, in Illinois. Uh, I, I don't like. Uh, my brother actually. We used to live by a canal, and they, there were like wild snapping turtles down there. My brother actually caught one and kept it as a pet for a while, which is probably terribly illegal because they're endangered. But uh, yeah, he did that. Yes, I have. But it was at, like, the Taste of Chicago or something, so it doesn't count. <laughs> no, because... They must have breed bred them for consumption or something. I, I don't know, okay? I gotta tell Ar why is it is that from the fire? Why is it I gotta tell Arno he needs to help us <laughs> He just leaves We spend the rest of the game playing the cat Turns in turns into 2D stray I gotta get on the top. I told her not to go. There's no way we can find her now. And let's face it, she is probably already dead. Which is unfortunate because she was nice. I liked her. What if it's not too late? We can't just leave her there all alone. Let me explain it again. He's from Finland. These woods are dark. It would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. <sighs> There's gotta be a way. Maybe, if we had a tracking dog. Because he's speaking English or with a Finnish accent. A cat? Hi there. Does the cat have a name? I can't believe we are following a stray cat through the woods in the middle of the night. 
Stop whinging. I really feel like it's leading us somewhere. Ugh, this bog stinks of death. Really? To me, it just stinks like shit. Well, yeah, that too. Death and shit. A popular combination. This is it, the Green Family Manor. Most people think it's just a legend, but it's really here. Great. But take it down a notch, man, could you? Remember the dead girl in the cave? Yes, but don't worry, I've got this. Ardo's way well, too excited. Well, you keep saying that, but... I don't know. That shit was fucked up. Yes, I agree. But unlike her, I know what I'm doing. I don't see you carrying any weapons. That worries me slightly. We don't need weapons. Just stay back and let me do the talking. Arno's gonna die. <laughs> I don't know why Petco keeps sending me emails. Oh, I know why. They want me to buy stuff. Oh no. It's really you. Hi there, Walter. How are you? Seriously, Arno? Oh, do not be alarmed. I come as a friend, so please, hear me out. My name is Arno, and I'm your biggest fan. Oh no! I know everything about you. I even know your secret. The thing no one else knows. But that's okay, because it's safe with me. And it'll be I safe just, in your grave. I really admire you, and I understand that you have done all these horrible things for a reason. I came all this way to tell you something important. Something that will change everything. Walter, I... <laughs> no! No! Don't! Stop it! Right now! Arno? Shit! Did you Let's find Angie and get the fuck out of here. That's what I'm saying. Get the fuck out of here. Jenny? What are you doing here? Returning the favor? You're lucky the key was still in the lock. There's no time to talk, we should get the fuck out of here, Angie. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Why is she not following me? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Bub Is that... Oh, no. We can't save him. That big pile of muscles will shred us to bits if we go back there. But maybe I can talk him out of this. <sighs> Why didn't I have a cigarette? Alright, no. We're gonna persuade Walter to spare Arno. We can do this. There's gotta be some sliver of reason left in that man's head. Wait! Even still a man. He put him down, asshole. That's not gonna work. Uh, no. What do you want from us? What do you want from us? Sad. Ah! <laughs> Shit! Well, that didn't work. Dude. He's got long hair. Shit, it's time to run. I feel like he might be a metalhead. Gotta get out of here. No, it's not a kiss. Out to the weenus. <gasps> I've never wanted to see Karen more in my entire happy to see him more in my entire life. Eat shit, motherfucker. Yes! Karen is the hero of, of this chapter. He truly is.
No, he didn't. Stop. I feel like I could have done something differently. Could I have saved Arno? I don't know. I always knew my elephant gun would come in handy one day. But never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that it would be the legendary Walter Green himself that I shoot with it. Whoever you shot there, it wasn't Walter Green. A seven foot tall strong man in a mask wielding a huge bloody knife? If that's not Walter Green, then who is? I don't know. But in that house, I found an old soldier's body. It had Walter Green engraved on the name tag. Look, it doesn't matter, guys. Whoever he was, he now bites the dust, and I don't think anyone will miss him. I guess... I'll miss Arno, though. Why? He didn't deserve to die like that. But he idol idolized Was the he that Logan? Yep. Poor sod. If only I'd bought you more time. Maybe you could have saved him, too. What's done is done. He knew what he was getting into. We certainly owe him, but we can't turn back time. It should have been me who died there. Don't say that. Why would you even think like that? Should I be honest? I should be honest with them. I mean, we've been through a lot together. Karen saved my life. I saved... What's her name? Jenny? That's her name, right? I saved her life. Let's just get it all out and over with. I have cancer. I'm dying anyway. You? What? No way. You're shitting us, right? I wish I was. My time's almost up. And Arno? He could have lived a long, happy life. Damn. I don't know what to say. There is nothing to say. Let's get back to the farm. I bet George is up already. Someone's got to make him a sandwich. Make sandwich. Okay. Um, yes! Chapter 3.